welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I'm so excited for today's video because it is going to be blue eyeshadows, jewels, pink lips. It's going to be out of my comfort zone. I kind of want this video to be like a winter makeup look. Um, I know winter is almost coming to an end and I'm just finally doing this look but that is all I have for this intro. If you guys want to see this look then you know the drill. Keep on watching. I'm excited to use the ColourPop on Cloud Blue palette for today's look. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for this look, so I'm just going to wing it and hopefully it just turns out okay. I'll be going in with this color called Play In. Ooh. Look at that. I don't think I've ever used this type of blues on my eyes before, so I'm so excited for this look. I really just want to put this color all over my eyes because this is the true definition of a cloud. Um, so it's so pretty. Um, but I do want to go in with another color for the outer parts. The next color is going to be Love Poem. Wow, these colors are really pigmented. The color that I used for my crease was really pastel y, but it blended out to be really nice, so I'm really impressed. And then for the middle part of my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Um, this shade is called Clear Skies. I think I'm just gonna go in with my fingers just so I can apply it more easily. This will top off this look. Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that, but wow, okay. And I'm going back into Love Poem. I'm going to tap in a little bit more on the outer parts. This time I'm just tapping it on to my eyes. All right, this is the eyes. Let's focus on the face next. And I am using a combination of the Dominique Cosmetics Times JD Ready Primer and the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. What I love about this primer is that it just feels really hydrating but really lightweight on the skin. Like it really melts into this watery texture that I just really, really like. So my... Dry skin definitely loves this primer. I'm going to apply that onto the skin with my Real Techniques Blender. And this is not a secret. The Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer. I'm going to add that onto my eyes, forehead, nose, chin. Another product that I've been using religiously, this is the Ilia Bronzer. I started applying my bronzer a little above my contouring line, as you can see right there. Put it right on top here. Because I just, I feel like that will accentuate the jawbone a little bit more. I actually learned this from Kristen Dominique. Since my face is a little bit more on the rounder side, I do love to accentuate my cheekbones a little bit more. So I think this really helps. Also add a little bit of that down here, like I mentioned. Round face girls need some powder underneath her jaw. Alright, for blush, I've been really enjoying this single blusher from the Siam or the Siam. This is a Korean brand um, and this is in the color Rose Ground. I use this big old fluffy brush and it just applies so nicely on the skin. Look at that. Like, that's it. Twice. Just add a little bit of that across the 
No. For highlighter, I have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Glazed Lip Kit. I'm going to pop this shade right here onto my cheekbones. I'm just going to spritz my face real quick, especially since I have all this powder on my face. I want to remind my sister Joy, get a little fan. Okay, so I'm going back into the eyes. Let me just quickly finish up this look. I'm using the same colors. I was debating if I wanted to use this glitter shade right here in the middle, but I decided to put this on the lower lash line. Going off camera to apply some lashes and do my brows and I'll be right back. I am back with the brows done and I got on some lashes. They're a little bit more natural. I was debating if I wanted to go with some more natural lashes or some more dramatic lashes, but I decided with the more natural lashes. And these are from Ilore, the number 117. I love these lashes so much. They're just so natural and has a slight flare at the end. And I feel like this natural lashes will actually uh, show my eyes a little bit more, you know? I do want to add a little bit of jewels to the eyes. So I have this sticker right here that has these rainbow reflect to them. I'm just going to quickly apply some of that onto my eyes. I love putting jewels on my eyes because it just totally changes up the look. Alright, and then I'm thinking of adding it right on the outer parts of my eyes. Let me go ahead and quickly finish off with the lips and I was debating back and forth what color I wanted to add for the lips and I'm thinking about using this pinky color right here. This is from YSL. This is the Velvet Cream lipstick and the color 216. This look I do want to go uh, with a nude color but I don't know what would really match it maybe I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss to this look because I don't really want it to take away from the eyes I'll go in with this Fenty gloss balm this is the shade diamond milk so it's the white colored lip gloss mm, there we are and since my lips are so pigmented as well, I feel like whenever I add like a pink color on top, it just makes it look really dark. So a lip gloss, it is. Yep, I love it. Yay, this concludes my makeup tutorial. Oh my gosh, I love this look so much. I didn't expect to really like this type of blue so much, but it looks so, so good. I am in love and I love the jewels. It just adds like really nice touch to the look. I really love this look so much. I hope you guys did as well. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of my little family on YouTube. I appreciate that so much. Without further ado, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.